Hello folks, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Last time we left off, we were we were on the beginnings of a stealth mission. Uh, I'm not a big fan of stealth missions, especially not in uh, FPS games. That's just generally a rule. Anyway. I should have been here by now. I've got 30 more mics on the comms blackout to red. We're still bingo on life support. Let's stay put. Roger. Standing by for enemy movement. So, uh, um, but I don't particularly like stealth missions. I'm not a big fan of them in, uh, most action games. They're usually slow and, like, take out, like, take too much time, in my opinion. Anyway. The kill relay is just ahead. I can guide you to the meeting from there. Check. So, uh... Plant this in the vent system. It will shut down life support. So far, we're undetected. Let's keep it that way. This is it. I'll patch in and locate the meeting while you get the uniform. Copy. I'll check in from crew quarters. Careful, you got a hostile nearby. Check your HUD for tracking data. So this is how you can tell you're still whether or not you're still in like sneak mode is whether or not that little indicator is lit up like a Christmas tree. Those are the best kind of stealth kills, where you don't just leave the body. Yes, regrettable if the war was over before we have our chance to shed foul earthborn blood. I think I got something over here. Shit. So yeah, one thing I uh, dislike about a lot of stealth games is that, at least some of the earlier ones, is that they didn't incentivize you to... Well, they did incentivize you to never leave bodies lying around. Because most people... 
will inspect a dead body, especially if it's somebody they knew. Like, the way we kill this dude is, we just kill him, and just lay him down there, make him look like he's asleep. No one's gonna check. Well, I mean, they might, if, they, if he's supposed to be somewhere. There we go. So we're going to disguise ourselves. Uniform required. What's the sit rep? Three HVTs have transferred to the Ikaria. The meeting's about to start. You'll need credentials to get near the conference. I've marked a target you can pull an ID from. Copy. Send it. Copy. Don't shoot. The uniform will keep you hidden. Any idea where we're being tossed? I think I know you. So you have to. So with this, with this disguise, you are essentially invisible to everyone in this place. But you still have to make it look like you are actually a part of the group. Your this group, the uh, settlement defense force. So you can't just go shooting and stabbing people willy nilly. Although I'm pretty sure they would probably not give a damn. These guys are weird like that. Essentially, look like you belong in the place. Which is actually how a lot of s stealthy operations usually actually go in real life, from what I've heard. Like, just look like you belong. And I don't know where the guy I'm looking for is. So yeah, we're just basically supposed to get this dude in an area where he's not, where we're not, gonna, he's not gonna be. I don't know if no one's found the body, but whatever. So yeah, this is... Sorry, I'm not, and by the way, sorry I'm not talking as much as I could be. Uh... Down. Cut off 
life support. Okay, well, some security systems while we still got some time. It's time to get the heck out of this place. No robots. That sucks. I actually like killing robots in this game because you can hack them. I do enjoy killing these dudes also. It's a very... Killing fascists, because that's what the SDF seems like, fascists to me, is to be a natural pastime. Have this weird bulb up gun. Soldier clear, it's me. I hate that uniform. I set the beacon for the red. Let's get to the exfil. All right, On let's you. move. How many minutes have I been doing this? <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, uh, yeah. Again, sorry I'm not talking as much as I usually do. It's pretty oh early. Well, not, not even that early in the morning. It's just uh. I guess I'm not in the mood to do this, but I'm doing it anyway because I got nothing better to do. Soldier, I'm behind him. That's a really interesting way to get a bunch of dudes killed. It's just like. Hey, here's this uh, electrical device. Here's this EMP-like device. Now I'm going to shock you like no one's ever been shocked before. Yeah. 
Normally, I guess I talk about something that I find interesting, but I got nothing to talk about. It's like the morning, nothing, nothing really that happened. I played System Shock yesterday. Well, System Shock too, anyway. The original System Shock is one of those games that does not, it has not really aged well. Um, System Shock 2 is aged fairly okay, but like, it's got a lot of control decisions that I could not get behind. Like, it took me like an hour just to figure out how to, how to rebind the keys. And not even because, like, it didn't, they weren't like, rebindable, no. It was because I had to figure out what the hell I should, which ways I should bind these damn keys so that it would be most familiar to me, but still be able to do the game in the intended way. Like, System Shock has some weird design decisions, like, uh, for one, like, it doesn't have to follow the WASD, uh, standardization of game control schemes. Like, it does this weird thing. Where, like, you, uh, I think it was, like, W turned you, like, you know, like this. Instead of it made you go like this. Which is really weird and confusing if you're used to the other sy with system of things. That's why I think most games should allow you to always be able to rebind keys. Because some games, their key bindings just don't, aren't ergonomic in the slightest. Like, who at Looking Glass in Irrational thought that that style of keyboard management was a good idea? Because they were wrong. They were dead wrong. Who shot me? Hey guys, I feel the boss. How's that feel? I've killed you. Edge can't get control of these guys. Yes. Is it okay for me to wash tomorrow? Huh? Sorry about that. I'll cut that out when I get a chance. Soldier, I'm behind him. Soldier, I'm behind him. 
Soldier clear. It's me. I hate that uniform. I set the beacon for the rent. Let's get to the exfil. On you. Love these little spider droids because they're so destructive and versatile in, in their this is manner actual. of killing. Do you copy? Comps yeah. are still in blackout. It's it's no response on the beacon either. That guy tried to pull a matrix and did try to get a tactical slide. He uh he then promptly learned that that's a very bad idea. Especially when you don't know it. Especially when the cover is not out in the open. When your cover is actually out in the open. Let's see what, what it does after. What if I would ever shoot these things? It's not even like it, uh, the sunlight's doing it like normally when I can't see a damn thing. What is someone behind me now? Junkie Salsa. Actual, this is retribution. We've locked on your signal, sending Scar 2 to your position. How copy? Copy, Gator, get back to this. I'm going to end the video here. This has probably been my bad worst episode. I'm sorry about that. Not really, but I am.